In this interesting question, given is a square, a line segment is drawn from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. The radius of this in-circle is 2 cm. Exciting part is, with this limited data, we have to find radius of this second circle. Let's check the solution. We'll solve it in two steps. In first step, we'll find the length of this square and then second step, we'll find the radius of the circle. So for the length of the square, let's assume the square length is 2a centimeter. AE is half of it. So AE length is a centimeter. By applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get DE as root of 5a centimeter. Now here, AM length is 2 centimeter. AN is also 2 centimeter. Thus length DN, that will be 2a minus 2 centimeter. From external point, two tangents are drawn. They will be equal in length. Thus length DP, that will be 2a minus 2 centimeter. And here AE is a centimeter and AM is 2. Thus the remaining length EM will be a minus 2 centimeter. And EP will be same a minus 2. Comparing the length of DE, DE length is 2a minus 2 plus a minus 2. Also, it is equals to root of 5a. Now, simplifying this, we'll get this equation form. Solving it to get value of a as 4 upon 3 minus root 5. Rationalizing the denominator, we'll get value of a as 3 plus root 5 centimeter. To solve further, let's reduce the size of this figure. Now that we have found the length of the side for the square, let's find the radius of the circle. For that, let's do some construction and extend this DE length further. And also let's extend this side length CB further to meet this green line segment at point F. Now let's compare these two circles. These are vertically opposite angles and E is the midpoint. So AE and EB are equal in length and angle A is 90 degree. Angle B here is also 90 degree. So by angle side angle, these two triangles are congruent and thus the in-circle will be congruent. So we can copy this in-circle here. It will have radius of 2 cm. Let's assume the centers of the circle are O and P. Now by theorem, we know that the centers of the two circle and the point at which the common tangent intersects, they will be collinear. So O, P, F will be collinear. From point O, let's join this point of tangency here. So this OH will be radius of the circle. Also same way, let's join this point P center to the point of tangency. And this length PG will be radius, which is 2 cm. HB will be same length as this perpendicular, which is R cm. BG, BG will be the radius of the circle or 2 cm. Now as these two triangles are congruent, thus the length BF will be same as AD or 2A centimeter. Now if BF is 2A and BG is 2, so the length GF that will be 2A minus 2. Now here let's assume this angle here is alpha degrees. Now in triangle PGF and triangle OHF, they both have got alpha degree angle and 90 degree angle and thus these two triangles are similar to each other and thus the ratio of their sides will be equal here the length pg is 2 and gf is 2a minus 2 and oh is r and hf hf is this full length which is a plus r bf is a and hb is r so this is r upon 2a plus r now here we'll cancel 2 in the numerator and denominator. So LHS will be 1 upon A minus 1. Now simplifying this by cross multiplication, we'll get this equation formed. Solving this equation for R, we'll get R as 2A upon A minus 2. Putting the value of A as 3 plus root 5. So we'll get value of R as 2 times of 3 plus root 5 upon 3 plus root 5 minus 2. Simplifying the denominator to get this. Now here rationalizing the denominator will get value of R as root 5 plus 1 centimeter which is nothing but 3.24 centimeter and that's our answer. 
I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, Tata. Bye bye.